Wouldn't it be really cool if you could play back video content in your car? Say you're waiting for a friend or family member, or you're waiting for your electric car to charge, or you just want to show off that awesome screen. Well, I might have found something which can add a whole world of features to your car. So I'm talking things like YouTube, and Netflix, and even HDMI capabilities. Recently, I went out and purchased loads of Apple CarPlay adapters and tested them all basically to add wireless capability to almost any car. However, once I made the video, Autocast saw the video and offered to send this to me to check it out. More details in the description if you want to know more about that. So this adapter. So this is the Picasso 2 Pro AI box. It is one of the most expensive CarPlay and Android Auto accessories that they offer, but it does quite a lot. And I wish CarPlay did all these features natively. In the box, there's the unit itself, the instruction manual, and of course, relevant USB and USB-C cables to connect it up. Now, when you plug it into your car for the very first time, basically it's going to start a bit like this. It loads up its kind of own Android operating system. Now, for clarity on the cars that I've tested this on, you must make sure that you have CarPlay in the first instance. Uh, so this device does not give you kind of CarPlay capabilities. It can convert wired to wireless, but you need to have CarPlay in the first place. So if you're not sure, just get in touch with your car manufacturer, um, and whoever makes your car, and they can check it out for you. So what does this device actually do? Well, I kind of hinted that it has a few extra apps, but basically I see it as more like a three in one. So number one, it will convert wired Apple CarPlay to wireless. Now my own car uh, actually has that anyway, so I don't particularly need that feature, but my previous car was wired CarPlay. And that's one of the reasons why I bought all of those adapters and actually tested them out to see, uh, you know, which one was best. And this one's kind of like a three in one. So yes, it will do wired CarPlay to wireless. It will also do it for Android Auto as well. So if you don't have an iPhone or iOS and use Android, it can do that. And then the third thing is the main thing of kind of why this one kind of tops out above a lot of the rest of them. So it has lots of kind of third party apps which are kind of built into it. And this is because it's literally running an Android operating system on it. So the best way that I can describe this is, so once it's booted up, it'll look a bit like this. But if I swipe this this way, you can see all these different apps on here. And yes, there's like YouTube, there's Netflix, there's Spotify, and uh, there's even like Google Maps and Waze all built into it, which is really cool. So to give you guys an idea, this is literally what it looks like. So this is the YouTube app and quite literally it will look just like you'd expect YouTube to look like um, on a kind of browser at home or something. Pretty cool that you've got YouTube on here and um, a whole variety of other things. So literally just tap on it and it'll play. Now, of course, you do need to provide internet to this device, which I'll explain how to do in a minute. There's a couple of ways of doing it. Uh, I'm currently hotspotting this at the moment uh, off my phone, but um, yeah, I'll explain more about that in a minute. So yeah, of course, there's YouTube, and then there's even some more things like Netflix. So yes, you can literally watch Netflix in the car. So obviously, if you have a big multimedia system, this will be really good. Say you said you're waiting for like a friend or family member, you're waiting for electric car to charge. Just watching content on there is going to be such a cool thing to do. Of course, you've got to think about like safety. Of course, you wouldn't do this while driving, but say you had a, I don't know, a camper van that has CarPlay, for example, or... I don't know, you've got an electric car and you're waiting for your car to charge. These are all things which can add to the existing system in the car. Now, for those who are looking, I will also have seen that there's a Spotify app down there. So yes, you can literally go on Spotify. I know that you can download Spotify on a phone, but if you're gonna use this interface to kind of do all your music content, then yeah, you could literally just use Spotify on here. Now, there is also a browser as well. So there's like a Chrome browser built in, which uh, again, is pretty cool. Of course, again, it will require internet access to do this, but um, yeah, you literally just browse the internet on here and um, you literally kind of got a mini version of Google Chrome built in. And to top it off as well, there's even a file browser. Now, some cars can play back video content via a memory stick anyway, uh, but this one does have a spare USB port. So if you're using the USB-A port, you can use USB-C. Or if you're using the USB-C port like I am, you can use the USB-A port. And uh, yeah, you can literally just plug in like a memory stick and play video content back that way. Uh, so just in case a car that you have doesn't play video content on the screen, using this device will let you do it. And to top it off as well, this even has HDMI inputs and outputs. Now, the fact that HDMI is being used, think about the kind of possibilities you could do. So you could plug in like an Apple TV or something or like an Amazon Fire Stick 
uh, of course you'd need to find power to power those <laughs> i did even think about a playstation as well because that utilizes hdmi and then you plug that in you've got the controls the only downside to that is that it draws a lot of power and i don't think there's a way you could power that using usb-c ports or 12 volt sockets so you'd need to find an alternative power supply for that but just saying you know hdmi there's lots of possibilities you can kind of do with that so yeah pretty cool so after all this of course a lot of these features i mentioned are kind of useless unless you give it internet so that's why there's a sim card actually built into it so yes you can put a sim card in here so probably like a data sim or something like that and then just have a permanent kind of internet access in the device itself now I haven't tested that out myself just because my personal phone, uh, the one that's capturing this screen at the moment, um, I use an eSIM so I can't actually test that feature out. But I'd imagine if you had like a data SIM then you could just plug that in and then it would provide internet to the device. Now as I mentioned currently at the moment, the alternative to that is to use a personal hotspot. So my phone at the moment is kind of broadcasting a Wi-Fi network and that's what it's connected to at the moment on the top left. So just to show you that if I go settings and then network and internet uh, there's my phone connected at the top providing internet to this so i can show you how it all works so there's a couple of ways of doing it um some cars can actually i guess output internet as well so you could do that but um yeah i, I guess the most kind of intuitive way would be to get a sim card or something but there again um hotspots just as easy as well so if you want to do a hotspot on your phone, uh, as long as your phone's compatible with doing so on iPhones, for example, just go settings, then personal hotspot, pop a password in there. It's nice and easy to type out. And uh, then, of course, on here, just connect to it via the Wi-Fi network. So pros and cons. So I've been using this device now for the past few weeks, and I kind of wish that all those apps were kind of just built into the car in the first place or even into Apple CarPlay. But... I don't think Apple or, or car manufacturers are going to add YouTube or Netflix anytime soon. Hopefully they will one day, but you know, this is a good workaround uh, in the meantime. So number one, the thing that I love the most is that it's just so many apps and things that you can utilize and use and that literally has just pages of them. Now, I'd imagine the average person probably wouldn't use every single feature on there, but it's nice to see that there's loads of stuff on there that you can obviously tinker and choose which one you want to use. So yeah, number one, loads of cool apps. Number two, it does have wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto built in, which is really good. And uh, yeah, I haven't experienced any dropouts or anything like that. This is one of the main things I actually tested when I had all those uh, kind of CarPlay uh, adapters that I tested uh, a few months ago. Now, one thing I'd picked up as well is that there is a slight audio delay when you're playing back video content. Now, it's not too dramatic. It still is watchable, but I just thought I'd share with everyone. I'd imagine it's because any form of video content is obviously demands quite a lot of processing power um, but yeah it, there is a slight delay still is watchable but kind of looks a bit like this you can actually see the buttons are slightly bigger than before now this does make all the world of difference because of course there are varying different touchscreen sizes in cars so yeah i don't think it's um that seems a bit weird watching myself in my own car on a car park <laughs> but anyway um yeah there is a slight audio delay but it's it's not the end of the world just thought i'd mention it now, the other thing I noticed as well is this is on the more expensive side of things, just because it is full of all these different apps and different features and SIM cards and HDMI capabilities. So if you don't need all of that, have a look at some others. There are some other ones which only do video playback on their own, which might be better. And if you're looking at making wired Apple CarPlay to just wireless, the same for Android Auto, uh, they do just have adapters that do just that, which are a lot cheaper. Now, as with all these adapters, I can't guarantee compatibility across all car manufacturers just because I haven't tested them on every single car. There's, there are lots of different models and makes and that sort of thing. I've tested them in a few and so far, as long as the car's got CarPlay wired, it should work. But do your own research and just double check. Now, Autocast were very, very kind also in providing a discount. Uh, so for anyone watching, if you wanted to order one of these or one of the other adapters, I have got a link here which will take you to all the other adapters that I tested. But there is a discount code in the description. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. And we'll see you all next week.